guys today's video is going to be my january empties sorry it's a little bit late but um i finally had an opportunity to record my bag is completely full and so i wanted to share them with you it's kind of going to be informal i don't um have scent descriptions or anything and i'm just going to kind of pull everything out of my bag so um let's get started this first one here is a candle from walmart um i bought this back um during the holiday season this is cookies for santa the scent description on here is buttery shortbread sugar this candle as you can see it burned completely down to the bottom did get a little bit of residue a little bit of soot which kind of makes it look pretty gross um but this was a nice candle it was just kind of a generic vanilla scent i remember when i bought this describing the scent as like vanilla ice cream but when it melted i mean it just smelled like your pretty basic vanilla candle and it wasn't super strong so it wouldn't be a repurchase for me um yeah so that's it about that one next up here I have a tart from Yankee Candle. This is in Winter Glow, and I've melted a couple of these. This was, um, it is definitely like a winter scent, but it kind of has a clean note to it. So I smell a little bit of like the pine or greenery in this scent, but there's also a type of coolness to this and a type of like clean cleanness, almost giving it a slight laundry scent, but nothing too intense. And I really enjoyed that one. So I would definitely purchase that one again, and it was a pretty good thrower. Next in here, I have from Avis Country Cupboard, Winter Candy Apple. This is a Bath and Body Works dupe that is just um, a kind of soapy apple scent. Uh, this was crazy, crazy, crazy strong. Um, it's like a sweet apple scent, but it's not su a very authentic apple. Like I said, it's kind of like a perfumey apple. Um, I did like it, and it was incredibly strong, incredibly strong. Let's see. I have a soap here. This is Fiji White Sands. This is white sands vanilla orchid and warm amber this is a really nice soap this is the foaming hand soap that's the one i prefer and it's just a nice scent for um for summer there's a little bit of like a warmth to this um, you get that definite amber in this um, scent. And it was pretty nice. It's not a favorite of mine. Like, I probably wouldn't reach for this scent again. But um, I did enjoy it while it lasted. Let's see here. I have from the Bathing Garden Frosted Fruit Cake. This was one of the samples I got with my last order. This one was really nice. Um, not necessarily like fruit cake. Like, I've had... I've tasted fruit cake. I'll put it like that. I have never just had a piece of fruit cake because I think it's gross. But <laughs> I have tasted fruit cake, and um, this to me doesn't smell like authentic fruit cake. It's just a really fruity, fruity scent. It's not a favorite of mine, which is why I didn't purchase it in a clamshell. I just got it as the sample. Um, but I mean, it is. It's a nice fruity blend. It's just not a favorite for me. So. There is no type of bakery note to this at all, so if you're looking for that, you're not going to get this. Also, fruitcake I've had has kind of a, um, usually it's doused in alcohol, some type of alcohol. I can't remember what it is, if it's like brandy or rum or whatever. There is no type of alcohol scent to this, so yeah, just so you know. Next in here, I have from Yankee Candle Lavender Vanilla. Um, I like this scent. I do like Yankee's Lavender. Um, and with the vanilla, it's just a nice calming blend. I would definitely repurchase that. It was a pretty good thrower as well. Um, I also have from Rainbow Melts Violet Vixen. Um, I didn't enjoy this at all. I did finish it, but it was not a favorite of mine. This is Violet Sweet Berries and Tonka Bean. Um... I melted this in the bathroom. First of all, it was so strong. And I feel like that is always the case. Anytime you have um, a scent that you're not that fond of, it's always like a crazy good thrower. But 
this was super soapy, super vanilla-y. You can get that violet scent, which to me gives off kind of a grandma perfume type of scent. There's hardly any type of berry in this. I just didn't enjoy this. Um, but it was an extremely good thrower. And it's weird that this was in her um, fall sampler because there was, I don't know, it just didn't strike me as a fall scent. Next from Yankee, I have Soft Blanket. Soft Blanket was such a good one. I really enjoy this scent. Um, it's a clean scent, definitely. But you would think this would be like an extreme laundry scent, and to me it's not. Um, it gives off more of a perfumey note to me than a laundry note. Almost kind of florally, but I really enjoy it, um, and I, I really like that scent. And that one was a really good thrower. Like, I think I was melting that for like three days. Next up, another from Yankee. Uh-oh. The sticker got stuck on the front of it. Is um, Bubbly Pomegranate. Let's see if I can get this to focus. And this is one of their new ones for their holiday line. Um, I did enjoy this, but to me... It was like black cherry with a touch of tartness. If you've ever smelled Yankee Candles black cherry, that's what this smelled like to me. It was like black cherry with just just this little bit of tartness. There, a ton of the bubbly didn't really come out to me. Um, I did like it, but um, I mean, it just smelled like a black cherry dupe to me. So if I really wanted this scent, I could just get black cherry. Next up from Satin Susie's, I have Pumpkin Nog. This one was a really good scent. Um, definitely a pumpkin eggnog scent. But it was so good. The pumpkin and the eggnog blended so well together. Um, I had an eggnog scent, I think, from Sassy Girl Roma, where the eggnog kind of overtook the whole thing. And that was not the case with this. It was really well blended. It smelled really good. Um, a really nice fall scent. I enjoyed that. Next up, I have Satin Susie's Cranberry and Orange Scones. This is another one I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, it The orange and cranberry in this is so bright and fresh and juicy. And then you get the bakery note, um, which I just love that about this scent. Because um, usually when you smell a fruity scent that's so just bright and fresh and juicy like that, um, it would make you think that you wouldn't be able to get the bakery out of it, but you totally can get it. Um, it's just so good. I really, really enjoyed that one. That would definitely be a repurchase. Next from Ava's Country Cupboard, I have Hansel and Gretel. This, to me, was just the basic kind of cinnamon scent. Uh, one of those kind of like homey, cozy, just cinnamon scents. Nothing really stand out about this, but it was a nice scent, and it was a good thrower. Next from Sassy Girl Aroma, I have Peach Melba. This was a, just a nice peach scent. I actually really enjoyed the peach from Sassy Girl Aroma. I don't really recall if I've had peach in wax before, but this one I really enjoyed. I feel like Peach Melba, is that a like a drink or something, a, a alcoholic beverage? I don't know. But all I smell is peach, and it smells really good. This is a good peach scent, and I enjoyed it. Next, another from Ava's Country Cupboard is Bear Claw Cookie Dough. This was just a really nice bakery scent. It definitely gave off that kind of glaze and doughy kind of donut scent. and um, But it wasn't too doughy. And I really enjoyed it. That was another good one. Ava's throws really well for me. So, next from 30 Street Wax, this is Under the Boardwalk. This one I melted because it tore the side of the bag. I can't find it on here now, but the side of the bag tore, so I went ahead and melted it. But even though this hadn't had a full-on month cure, this thing threw like a beast. It was so strong. I cut it in half. It was one of the chunks, 
which um, normally I would cut in fours, but I just kind of wanted to go ahead and use this up. So I cut it in half. I put it in two different warmers downstairs, and it threw like crazy. It's an amazing scent. You definitely got funnel cakes, the Fruit Loops, the marshmallow, the sweetness. It was just really yummy, and I think I have a couple more of those. So glad about that. Then I have this one from Better Homes and Garden, Bubbly Peach Cocktail. I thoroughly enjoyed this scent, and... I haven't been able to find it. Um, I know it says limited edition, but this one was so good. It's definitely a really nice peach scent. You get a little bit of the bubbly from the from the uh, alcohol, and oh, it's just yum. This is a really great like. To me, it's kind of a springtime scent in my opinion, but I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Would totally get it again. Then from Sassy Girl Roma, I finished a chunk bag and hose over bros. I think this is pink sugar, blue sugar, and birthday cake. This is a divine scent. I love it so much. Um, you get the pink sugar, you get the blue sugar, and you get the birthday cake that is in this. And But it's not overpowering. Like, this is definitely not a bakery scent. I would, you know, have no... Um, qualms about like melting this in a bedroom or even a bathroom. It was so amazing. I love that scent. Next. I guess we'll go with this one. I have a candle here from Bath and Body Works Warm Vanilla Sugar. Um, this, uh, I mean, it did okay, but, um, it... It just didn't throw very well for me. The wicks got super puny, so I put it on the candle warmer. On the candle warmer, it threw pretty okay. It still wasn't anything amazing. Uh, it filled up my room, but it didn't really travel. Probably wouldn't get this candle again. This one was not a winner. I love warm vanilla sugar, and I love the scent of it when I could smell it, but yeah, it just didn't perform very well. Next up is another soap. This is Very Merry Meringue by Bath & Body Works. This was just a kind of um, lemon vanilla scent. I really enjoyed this scent for washing hands. Um, smelled really good, really clean. A very um, authentic lemon, type of lemon, like custard scent like you would get in like a lemon meringue pie. I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop here because my phone is going to die. And I have a few things left. So I'm going to stop here and go ahead and upload this as part one. And I will be back with you for part two in a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.